hey what's up welcome to our channel linux temple and today in this video we're going to discuss on five things that we must do after installing elementary os and here i've just installed elementary os 5.1 hera although elementary os is supposed to be the most beautiful linux distro out there it is still incomplete and we need to do some changes and we need to install some few packages in order to make this a best linux distro and since we're uh, doing almost all of the things from the terminal so i'll be leaving the command in the description also you can check it there and you are always welcome to visit our channel for such linux tech related videos and please support me by subscribing our channel this really motivates me to make more linux tutorial videos okay now let's get into the topic so first thing that you need to do is update the packages so for this open the terminal type sudo apt upgrade so i did this already and all my packages are up to date now and also you can update your packages by entering the command sudo apt dist in this hyphen upgrade so it enter and my packages are already up to date and another thing that elementary os does not come with the firefox browser so you need to install it first by typing sudo apt install firefox y and enter now this will in, uh, install the firefox browser in your elementary os it does not come out of the box Now the installation is finished. So you can go to applications and you can see Firefox browser which is considered to be the best browser for any Linux distribution. So it has a Firefox. And next thing, since the Pentium desktop does not come with all the necessary tools for required customization in the desktop, so you need to install elementary tweaks for some custom changes in your desktop. So in your browser, search for install elementary tweaks. So go to this GitHub site. And here's the installation process the commands are given just copy it and paste it on your terminal but you can see that you can't add ppa there and so for the solution okay you have to type the command sudo apt install software hyphen properties hyphen common space hyphen y and the enter so after this you can add ppa so let's paste the previous command so you can see if you enter now to install element tweaks you have to enter the second command sudo apt install element tweaks just copy it and paste it on the terminal Okay, and now elementary tweaks has been installed in our system and now we can make some custom changes in our Fentian desktop so 
so here you can see tweaks as you click on it so there are some customization options for appearance and fonts animation and etc so you can change the themes cursor icons gtk plus and dark mode and by default we don't have minimize button so as you change the layout layout to windows you'll get or minimize right you'll get the minimize button there now you can minimize the windows and this is very useful to have minimize button on our windows Here you can see we can minimize and one thing that we can't install .dev that is Debian file by default in elementary OS so for this we need to install gdb first okay so you have to enter the command sudo apt install gdb gdbi and after this you can install Debian file on your elementary OS like we install dot exe file in a windows so now we can install debian files in our elementary os so this is also one of the most important things to do in elementary os so gdb has been installed now so you can try installing some debian files in your system Also you can install a system monitor, sudo apt install gnome system monitor to monitor your CPU memory consumption uses. This is very important tool. So this also installed now. And another useful app for Linux which is Kdn Live Video Editor. So just go to this official website and in order to install this here you can see the command first add the PPA enter And then another command sudo apt get update just in copy this and paste it on a terminal and after this to install you have to enter one next command that is sudo apt install kdn live sudo apt install kdn live and then it will be installed in the system so here you can see kdn live so this is considered to be one of the most useful video editor for linux and guys i think these are the things that needs to be done to make this beautiful distro a complete one and i also may have missed some points as well you can comment them in the comment section and this was for today I hope you like this video. Please like this video and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.